to my parents. Oh, oh yeah, no problem. All 104 yards last two touchdowns this week. It just seems like every time you're given an opportunity, like, you just, uh, you just, you know, take advantage of it. Can you just speak to the last two weeks and kind of have fun that spend as many bad plays as you have? Uh, it's just, I think I said it last week, it's just fun to go out there and compete against somebody other than our guys in training camp. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be put in positions to make plays, but I'm not the only one making plays, you know, and a lot of it depends on who's throwing the ball. I mean, I think I thought Dave and Tim both played great today, so um, I'm, just, I'm just one of the guys that's doing their job. I think so many other guys did such a great job today, so. Dan has used the words reliable, dependable to, to, to reference you. Just what does that mean when the head coach uses those kind of words? Uh, obviously appreciate it. Um, I think I said this a few weeks ago. Um, just trying to keep that trust. You know, it's something that takes so long to earn, but then you could lose it pretty quickly. So, um, just trying to keep his trust every single day and uh, just continue to, you know, prove him right. Basically. What about the onside kick? Um, yeah, I mean, we went over it a few times, but yeah, I mean, once I saw them going for two, I had a feeling it was coming. So um, I had a feeling our defense would get a stop. So the uh, the guys in front of me did a great job keeping me clean. So easy, just. How did you read that? How did you read something like that? Uh, just the way just the way the kicker's coming at the ball, you kind of you kind of know, hey, it's going to be coming to me. So um, like I said, the front line guys did a great job, kind of making sure I didn't get touched. So. My job was easy. Oh, oh, go ahead, Jen. Dan said that this is an important win, even though it is preseason, because it gives us team confidence and it shows you guys what it takes to finish a game out. How important is that for you as a player, and how much do you feel like that can go on straight going forward? Uh, I mean, he was referencing a bunch of different stuff, no matter what you're playing, dominoes, spades, whatever. Uh, it just feels good to win. And I think as a group, as a team, uh, you got to, you know, learn that feeling and feel how that feels so um you know i'm glad we got this one obviously we wish we had the one back last week but uh it was great to get this one today tom when did he say that just about the dominoes and straights after the game before the game after the game post game said we didn't win until at, no i'm just kidding uh no after the game he he said it mike mike talked about the uh i know how to play i don't play a ton but i i, I play a little bit the, the the onside kick and being a gunner. How much is that important as well? You know, showing off a, a, a variety of aspects of your game when it, when it comes to you know figuring out the 53 guys on this roster. Just go out and compete. You know, whatever they ask you to do, go and do it. Um, doesn't matter what it is. If they asked me to go play defense, I'd go play defense. Uh, I don't know how good I'd be, but um, it's been a while. But uh, no, I mean. Regardless of what position you're putting out there, uh, you just want to try to prove value to the team and help the team win in any way you can. So whether it's offense, defense, special teams, uh, it's just, like I said, fun to go out there and compete. But you are a, guy a couple who, more guys. He's been seen as, as being very reliable for, for years now, right? And so you know the business of the NFL that you have to be able to maybe add more. Do you feel like you've, you've proven that you can be more than just that slot guy in, in camp and for the staff? And That's up for the coaches to decide. I mean, I just, you know. Do what I'm told. Do my do the best that I can. Uh, you know. Uh, I'm taking it day by day, building, stacking days, and just learning. I got a lot of guys, a lot of good coaches that's in a uh, facility helping me out day in and day out to get better and to get more comfortable. How much does it help you break one of these for 61 the first time around, just confidence-wise? Uh, it definitely gave me a boost of confidence and it get my team riled up for the most part and get us going. How long does it take you to, to build chemistry on special teams? I mean, you're Ryan and 10 guys to block in front of you. How long does it take you to, to find your group there? Uh, for me, it didn't really take long because Phil put together a good scheme. And without the other 10 guys, it wouldn't have been possible without them doing their job. And everybody got a job to do. I just trust them and trust my instincts and just go play. Knowing that the starters weren't going to be playing at all in this one and knowing you had an opportunity to get some, some real reps out there, talk to me a little bit more about what your mindset was going into this game today. Coming into the game, I just knew I had to prove myself each and every time I was out there and take advantage of every opportunity that I got and, and just being able to trust my instincts, trust my teammates, and go out and play the way I know I could play. Hang on, hang on real quick. You can put that on if you want. All I right. see you playing with it. You can throw it on. There you go.
How nice would it have been to, to add a touchdown in at the end of that? No, it definitely would have been nice, man. But I'm going to just keep stacking days and keep moving forward and build on what we uh, started today. And what can you learn from that close attempt at the touchdown there? Anything to do different next time? Uh, not necessarily. I'll just keep trusting my speed, keep running, and let it take care of itself for the most part. I never have a first half like that. I probably had one or two, but not four. Yeah. yeah. So like the grand slam. Man. Yeah, definitely. Without the other ten guys and Coach Phil putting together a good scheme, like I say, it wouldn't even been possible. I just did my job and they did their job and we executed it well. You talked about the importance of, of losing mind of the second tier football leagues and the opportunities to kind of give guys a shot. How important was that for you to add those reps in USFL to I think all conference or all all league correct? Yeah. How valuable were they for you? Uh, it definitely was valuable. Uh, giving me a second opportunity coming out uh, 2019, then COVID hit and I was uh, battling the injury. It gave me another opportunity to show that I could play in the uh, National Football League, and I think those guys, and like I say, without those players at USFL and without those good coaches, uh, Coach Baylor's over there, uh, Philly Stars, it definitely gave me a boost of confidence to really learn new things and trust it here that I could bring over from that league. How did the joint practices kind of work into that? I mean, you feel like you got a familiar opponent here in some ways? Yeah, it was unique that way. Um, we were able to practice with them all week long. And uh, so going into the game, you're able to game plan a little bit more specifically because you have experience against these guys, uh, real, real fresh uh, experience with them. So, yeah, it was definitely different that way. Um, it was uh, cool. It serves as an advantage if you did your film study. So it really seems like you and Austin over here kind of created some havoc at times together. Do you feel you guys click in there in the second half together as a unit? Oh, yeah. I mean, we uh, we started to get a feel of what the, the protection was. Um, and so we just started we just started uh, doing some twist games and and guys started coming into their own and getting comfortable rushing the passer so um, everybody's just starting to get into the groove so well, not just rushing the passer but also stuffing the run i believe i saw seven, like 30 yards on touch and carry something crazy like that uh did the defensive line take maybe last week a little bit personally when the Falcons were kind of able to run on you guys and get outside and break contain and things like that? Uh, we knew we needed to improve. Um, you know, the Falcons were able to get get a couple good runs, so um, and we want to take pride in stopping the run. So uh, we d we took the necessary adjustments, and, and everybody showed up in their gap every time there was a run play, and, and running backs had nowhere to go. Uh, it was just a matter of what gap he ran into, whoever made the play. So you didn't face the most mobile quarterbacks today, but Dan Campbell kind of talked. About about the emphasis of you know not getting you guys to, to break contain is that something that you went over this week even though you weren't necessarily facing a, a Desmond Ritter or a Marcus Mariota this week um, we always want to keep the quarterback in the pocket um, we knew number four he was he was a runner so especially when four was in there but um, yeah we always try to have that presence about us uh, containing the quarterback while also getting to him so yeah it's a point of emphasis um, how about the game for, for Austin Bryant? What, what did you see from him out there and just thoughts on him as a player? He's just a warrior. I mean, I've been here for just a few months and um, everything, I, even at practice, he's just a warrior. And when it comes to the game, he's he's two notches above that. So um, I love playing with him. He always brings the energy. Um, if, we, if we're coming out flat, he's not going to let it happen. He's, he's picking us up. He's yelling. He's, he's, he's picking our energy up. So it's awesome. Yep.